The front cover of my magazine, Explicit, uses conventions which are generally found in similar media products such as the masthead, barcode, cover lines and the main cover line. These are all positioned in a similar manner to magazines which are share which share the same conventions such as XXL. The body text on the front cover also stands out with different colours of the text to show the importance of what each text means and highlights to the audience which one stands out the most. These can be seen through the publications I have looked at such as Hip Hop Weekly, XXL and Vibe. These, the placement of, the, of my barcode was a concept I adapted from the magazine Hip Hop Weekly. However, I have added the issue number and date and also the website address on the side of the barcode to create an unconventional look which I developed my own design from that. My main image represents the other magazines I have analysed. Even though it's simplistic compared to magazines such as Hip Hop Weekly and Vibe as they feature more than one image on the front cover. I have used one person which is also a conventional feature used on the front cover of XXL. I chose to do this as I would like my magazine to feature one on one artist rather than loads. The camera shot is a medium long shot as this shows to the audience what the character is wearing and also the mise en scene within the shot. The shot is clear and bold and this could be used on other publications such as XXL and Vibe. This is also There is also dead space on the bottom right hand side of the page. This is because I don't want to overcrowd the page full of cover lines as I have used them on either side of the image already. This enables me to stick with the conventional features used on the front covers of XXL and Vibe. The background of my main image is a full is full of graffiti. This connotes the hip hop theme and genre as it is existent to the audience and stands out, but can be also change depending on the issue on which artist they use to choose on the front cover. And this can be frequently seen on XXL. My magazine does challenge some forms of conventions used on other magazines, such as the masthead as in all of the other magazines I have analysed. The masthead is covered by the main image but mine is presented in a clear and bold sans serif font which shares the same typography as XXL in a navy dark blue colour, the same as the character's jeans. It adheres to my product and the right name to use on my hip hop magazine as the word explicit is frequently occurring in the industry. I have chosen to challenge this convention as I felt it would be beneficial to the audience as they saw the masthead and it would catch the eye to the magazine as it would stand out. The layout of the layout of my contents page fits into the norms of what my con of what a contents page in the genre would represent. The contents page at first glance seems to be the average page used in a magazine, but this usually how this but this is usually how the other magazines are represented. For example, XXL in this publication they have used images and page numbers as this relates to the image and also less stories that I have used to portray their pages in a simplistic way whereas I have gone for a more for that more colourful and busier looking page such as Hip Hop Weekly as they use subheadings, images and loads of text to make the reader feel engaged. My contents page is a bit more simplistic than this as I have used a lot less storylines but also images and banners which go across the page to make the page stand out and not less boring. My contents page uses three columns which show text images. The middle column is the most important on the pages. I have used the majority and the important text slash stories which will be included in the magazine and are more appealing to the audience like Hip Hop Weekly as they've got as they get the reader involved. I have also included images of a girl wearing hot pants and a lacy top. And another image where she's holding a cigarette and her, heart, and her top is half, halfway up. This is to create a voyeuristic approach to the male audience as this is the kind of imagery you would see within the genre and creates a realistic effect. These images also link back to the masthead of my magazine Explicit as these images link back to the, a sexy and elegant view of the magazine and content. I have used, I have used an unconventional approach to help sell my magazine to the audience by telling them to describe the issue. I have done this by showing an image of my front cover and in a banner underneath I have a text which says 
which says subscribe and also gives the website name so they can have a look at the website and subscribe online. I've also followed the house style from my front cover onto my contents page using some colours by different sans serif font which I felt would be more appealing and easier to read for the audience. I've also navigated the page numbers well and showing them in a big font size that would be easy to show to the audience like they have done in XXL. My, con my double page spread sh uses many conventions found in magazines. The layout of the page has inspired me, has, it's, has inspired mine to be like Hip Hop Weekly and Vibe through the house style and interview use. The main image is dominating on the left hand side of the page. This adheres to the format how most magazines lay out their article. I've also put a pull quote on the on the image and a cover line in the top corner of the page to make the image stand out. The mise en scene of the image shows a tunnel full of graffiti and the artist himself holding a smoke bomb, looking into a stern manner to the audience and conventional to what other magazines would publish. The pull quote I've used is conventional to the magazine as I have analysed to the magazine I have analysed which is Hip Hop Weekly. This was used in a big sans serif font in red to stand out to the reader. I have used an outer glow red effect on mine which stands out on the page and makes the audience want to read on. I have also used a conventional theme on the page as I have used an interview which can be seen in Vibe. I have used this because most magazines publish an interview with the chosen artist who features alone on the front cover. This also gives an insight to the audience about himself and judges his personality. However, my three pages remi to remain convention however my three pages remain conventional to other magazines as they follow the same house style that differs but that differs in their double page spread.